Hello guys, we continue with our Filmora tutorials. This I was saying that we continue with this. What's happening to my screen? Ah, it's just that this is the screen shaking tutorial. The brand new feature in Recovering Filmora 8.5. In this tutorial, we're gonna create a video like this one. Watch that shaking. Believe me, the scene worth to be shaken. Let's open up Filmora. It's opening, and this is a new version. Now there are more options on the aspect ratio. Why the screen 16 by 9 in typical YouTube proportion? And some others, like Instagram, we'll see that later. Let's continue with 16x9, our typical proportion in full feature mode. And here is it, the new Filmora 8.5 is here. Camera shake and some other features, we will see later. But now let's make some shaking. Let's close this and here is it. Let's import a video. Import media files and let's select this video. Open. And now let's drag it to the timeline. Click and drag it to the timeline. Let's select a specific moment to apply the shaking. Let's play this. That will be okay. Click on the video to enable the split tool. Click on the split tool. Right click on this and delete. Now we will apply the shaking. Let's mute this video. Right click on it and mute. And let's import some. I would like to make the shake sync with the music. Import media files, music, and let's import this, and drag it to the timeline. This new version of Filmora lets you add much more tracks. The previous version did only let you add two tracks, now you can add five that tracks, and more than nine, ten music tracks. But we're not gonna do that now, just let's do the shaking. Let's listen to the song. Okay, let's set this. Position the marker over here. Click on the sun. Split. Right click. Delete. And let's drag this clip. And now let's apply the shaking. Let's delete this. Position. Click. Right click. Delete. And let's do this to the slider. Like this. Now, let's listen to this. Okay, I want a shaking right there. Position the marker a little before. And where are the shakes? Filters. Click here in shake. And these are the shake options. Let's try with this. Click on this. And you apply it, dragging it to the timeline. Click and drag it. Appears a new track. Just like if this were a filter. Actually, it's a filter. Now let's look at this. Position the marker and let's play this. Okay, let's shorten this a little more. Use the zoom slider. And now let's shorten this this way. Listen to the sun. Okay, let's apply some other over here. Let's try with this one. Click. Let's preview this. I like that. Click and drag it to the timeline. In this video, we'd like to shorten its duration. And now look at this. Okay, again. Extreme. Let's preview this. I love that. Click and drag it to the timeline. 
In this case, I want to shorten its duration just because of the music. Look at that. And no one. Let's try it with another. Up and down. Preview this. I love that. Click and drag it to the timeline. Shorten its duration. You can adjust its position and shorten its duration. Stretching just as you want. Just by clicking and dragging over its borders. Play this. You can also click on this. Press Ctrl C. Position the marker where you want it. And Ctrl V. Appears again. Look at this. Position the marker and let's play this. Okay. Too early, let's click and drag it to the right a little. Now let's look at this. Play this. Control B again. Now let's play this video. From the beginning. Position the marker. Play this. Okay, I would like to increase the shaking of this one. I just double click on it and now you can adjust, customize, just as you want, like this way. Let's increase this, increase this, and now let's look at this. Position, play this. More intense. Again, double click. Let's increase this much more to see the difference. Okay. Position the marker, play this. Okay, let's increase this one too. Double click on it. And more. Look at this. Some more. Cows. Drag it to the timeline. Adjust its duration. Let's preview. Listen to the song. That will be okay. Well, it's that simple. You go to filters, then select shake. And you will be a variety of shaking filters to apply to your video. Drag them to the timeline, position it, drag it, and double click to edit to customize the shaking effect. That will be all by now. In our next tutorial, we will see some other interesting features Filmora has. Please tell me that you like this video. See you soon.